Hi there, welcome to Vegan Makes Cupcakes. Today I'll be teaching you how to make these dazzling beach clamshell cupcakes for your next special beach event. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make them step by step. Okay, so to make these beach themed clamshell cupcakes, you're going to need first off this mold. It's a Wilton mold and we're specifically going to be needing to use these clamshell molds that are in this set here. I got this for about two dollars at Michael's. You're going to need some cornstarch and a duster, a little bowl with chocolate for melting. This is going to connect our clamshell later on. We're going to use some tylos, pearls, we have some food dye for mixing with our fondant. I chose to do teal and then for the frosting I use this electric pink which makes a really beautiful color. I have cupcakes, sixlets, and these I got in a little pouch, but oftentimes you'll find them in a jar. And then I have a couple of measuring tables, teaspoons here, one the one teaspoon and a one and a half teaspoon, as well as either a food brush or some kind of fondant tool to prop the clamshell open once we get started. So let's get started. Okay, so we're back. Now we've got our fondant out and we're just going to take a little bit of this Tylos and we're just going to add a pinch of the Tylos to our fondant. You don't add too much, otherwise it can crack. And then we're just going to incorporate that Tylos into our fondant. Okay, so we've kneaded our fondant, and now what we're going to do is we're going to use our teaspoon as a guide so that we can have all of our clamshells about the same size. So you want to just pinch off a piece, and then whatever you're not going to be using, make sure you store that in a Ziploc bag so that it doesn't dry out, especially after we've used the Tylos, which is used to dry out the fondant um, so that you can use it quicker for a project. That way you don't have to wait for it to dry out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put this in our teaspoon. <clears throat> and then what the cornstarch is for is that this isn't actually really made for, it's not a silicone mold, so you kind of have to improvise. And what you do instead is you have to add a generous amount of the cornstarch, and that will help ease the clamshell out of the mold. And then you can just put some on top as well so it doesn't stick to your fingers. And then you're just going to work that into the mold. You want to push the middle so that it hollows out a little bit. And then if there's any excess, you can just push that off the edges. And this mold has three spots for clamshells, so I would definitely recommend if you're doing several of these to get an extra mold. And they are very reasonably priced, so that shouldn't be a problem. And then I'm going to do a couple more of these and I'll be back to show you the finished result. Okay, it's been about 20-25 minutes since I finished putting these in the mold. You want them to dry out a little bit before we do this next step. And so next you can just tap them out like you would chocolate. And then any of that extra um, cornstarch you can just dust off with a brush that you use for cake projects. Okay, so now we're going to want to apply our luster dust on top. And what I've done is I've just mixed a little bit of that luster dust in here with a clear almond extract. Um, you can also use any kind of spirit, clear spirit, or another clear extract that you would like to use. So now we're just going to take that mixture and we're just going to brush it on. We don't want to get too much, but we're just going to brush it on top of our seashells. And if you have an angled brush, you can kind of brush any of that extra dust that could get into the cracks to give it a smooth appearance. And then you can see it makes a beautiful shiver coating on top of the seashell. Use a little bit too much on that one. But that's okay. Alright, we're going to let those dry and then we're going to adhere 
the top and the bottom of our seashell. Okay, so our seashells have dried, and now we're just gonna try to find the ones that I do for the top are the ones that I like better, and I do the uglier ones on the bottom. So you're just gonna set that on the bottom, and then you're just gonna use a dab of white chocolate, and this is gonna connect the back part. Okay. And then also what I like to do is just to use a little piece of fondant to kind of lift it up a little bit back there as well. And then a little bit more white chocolate. Okay. And then now you can just use some kind of tool to stick it, to keep it open. And then you just want to, oh, use this brush here. You want to secure it in the back, make it level, and then you're just going to let that set. And once it's dry, we'll be back. Okay, so we've been letting our clamshell sit for about 20 minutes now, and we are just gonna place our pearl at the front of the opening of our clamshell. To do that, we're just gonna put a little dab of white chocolate at the front. You could also put some underneath the top if you'd like. And then we're just gonna take one of those seashells, excuse me, one of those pearls, and then we have a beautiful little pearl at the opening of our clamshell. Okay, so now we're gonna take our cupcake and we're gonna frost it starting in the middle, working our way outwards and coming up. And then we can take some of these little mini pearls to kind of add to the pearly effect. And then once we do that, we're just gonna take our clamshell with the pearl in the middle that we made earlier. And voila! There you have a beautiful clamshell beach cupcake for any special beach event in your future. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you again next time.